Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for checking out this video here on Show Style and Spirit. I am Ebony, of course. As you can see from the title of this video, um, I want to share a soundbite with you all of Dr. Heavenly disrespecting Melody Cherie. I don't know what is Dr. Heavenly's problem. First, she disrespected Sharnita from Sharnita's world. And now she is transferring that negative energy onto Melody. I have no idea where this is coming from. What has Melody done to her? I get it. You are bosom buddies with Carlos now. But my goodness, do you have to get down in the mud as well? And it ain't your fight, Dr. Heavenly, it ain't your fight. In the words of Nene Leakes, okay, when they were in Greece and she was saying that to Kenya, it wasn't your fight, Kenya, it wasn't your fight. It ain't your fight, Dr. Heavenly, it's not your fight. All right, so now before we get into these sound bites, um, I'm going to set the scene. It was they were reviewing Married to Medicine, of course. This is the culmination of season 10 for Married to Medicine. And I'm going to set that whole tone for you. But before I do, I ask that you please hit the like button on this video. Even if you were to hit the dislike button, either one of those work the same, meaning that YouTube will recommend this video to more people who enjoy discussing reality TV, including Love and Marriage Huntsville and Married to Medicine, Celebrity Tea. And if you have not already done so, please subscribe to Show Style and Spirit. I would love to have you. And of course, everything that I'm saying here is alleged and just my opinion. And the Copyright Act of 1976 says that my fair use commentary on these sound bites are allowed for criticism. All right. So as we all know, on Mondays, Carlos King and Dr. Heavenly, they've been reviewing the latest episode of Married to Medicine. Married to Medicine season 10 concluded last night with its part three reunion. Now they have announced during this live recap that they're going to continue to go live together on Monday nights. They're going to review Love and Marriage Huntsville, y'all, season seven. And Dr. Heavenly was like, yeah, I want to talk about those people. She said it lower while Carlos was talking, but my eyes were on her. She said that. So, you know, I think the disrespect, I think it's just going to continue, unfortunately. But us content creators will be sure to watch these recaps and bring you anything that we find out. But they're going to continue their Monday collaborations. They were reviewing Married to Medicine and they were dragging Sweet Tea, which is something that they've been doing. Dr. Heavenly, she always kind of, kind of what Sweet Tea told her last night, you've been talking out the side of your neck. She loves to drag and disrespect Sweet Tea, and then she'll um, be conflicted and say, okay, let's move on because we've been talking about her enough. We've been talking about her for too long. And then Carlos King will have like another point to make. It's like in a with him and Sweet Tea, He's like nice, nasty. He does admit that she was, he called her the talk of the town. You know, you're Dr. G's new wife. He was married to Quad. And you're coming on here. You're being on the same show as his ex-wife. You know, he gives her that. And then he tells her, come with better reads. You know, it, it, it comes off more constructive at times because he knows that he was wrong after that vision board comment. And so he's definitely trying to stay away from that. And when Dr. Heavenly tried to go into the ageism saying, yeah, she's so young. That's why she can't read because she's young. And he was saying, well, no, it's more so because she's new to reality TV. She's the freshman. So they've been dragging Sweet Tea, calling her reads whack, basically. And then Dr. Heavenly was saying how she tried to teach her finances. She tried to tell her, you know, uh, purchase you some life insurance, uh, put your money in some savings accounts, have the baby, get life insurance for the baby. And, um, you know, you're into tea. Why don't you sell some ginger tea? And while we're filming, have Dr. G says that it tastes delicious. And when you dog me out, be sure to be on YouTube, be monetized, and then talk about your tea. 
I told her all of that. I told her all of that. You know, this this platform doesn't last long. You have to sell different things, make other streams of income. That is the tone for when she shades Melody. And then they're going to talk about different reality TV stars who are geniuses at marketing, who sell a variety of products. They're not just on a reality TV show. And then this is what she had to say. What this, listen, that's what disturbed me watching this reunion because my thing is this. All of y'all hate Sweet Tea. All of us. Pedro said she had a flat butt, was pancake, and, and made Pedro said fruit. all kind of shit. She said your parents are, uh, your, your man is older than your parents. She said that you walk like you stomping on roaches. They didn't show none of this. Phaedra was in that girl ass from the very beginning, but they didn't show it. That's why I say Phaedra is Phaedra. That's why I love Phaedra. Because she gave the reason they just didn't show it. But that was what me and the raindrops and the boobies and the audience saw last night was, listen, yes, go for it heavily. That's expected. My thing with Sweet Tea is this. You and I have been trying to teach her how to use this game the right way. You are the talk of the town, Sweet Tea. You are, you're, you're part of the reason why the ratings increase too. I gave you that. I'm the king of this shit. So for me to even mention your name is a big deal. I like Sweet Tea. I think Sweet Tea is responsible for the increase, right? Absolutely, absolutely. However, Go ahead. if I didn't give her anything, she would have had nothing. There's plenty of chicks that came on the show to try to cover heavily, and I didn't give her what they wanted, and then they go yeah. away. I gave her everything she wanted, and Nita gave her the play. Made up, remember, Dr. Heavenly University told her exactly what to do, how to do it, play by play, and told her I would come on her channel to promote it. Not that she needed me, but I'm saying I will help you all the way. She get caught up in her feelings because she talking shit to me and no, I respond. Not feeling, not feeling. I'm, I'm going to tell you what it is because I've been doing this. I've been doing this for almost 20 years. I'm going to tell you what it is. A lot, and listen up, boobies and raindrops. I'm about to put y'all up on game. First of all, Dr. Heavenly put y'all women and some men up on game about universal index life insurance. Put that in your own name. When you have a child, your child is insurance and when your child turns nine years old, I mean nine nine days old, when your child is nine days old, you can get life insurance for your kid. Okay? So and, and then when you're on TV, you're not you're not making that much money being talent. You make money with, with, with what you're with what you're promoting. What you're promoting. So, thank you. Yes. Um Goshe, um, you um, Martel, not Martel, his wife, Melody. His Melody, wife. Melody's great at that as well. So you 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 have to use this medium. Look at look at my, my shit says reality with the King tour tickets on sale now. When you have all these, I okay. So you heard Doctor Heavenly. She disrespected Melody. First of all, she says Martel's name. Let me just make it very clear for you, Dr. Heavenly. Martel and Melody are two separate people, two separate genders. Melody and Martel do not look anything alike. They're not related. So I don't know why you would say Martel's name when you know that you were thinking of Melody. And then she called her Melody S. Holt. That's very interesting to me. Because even if you say someone by their, if you call someone by their first and last name, what are the odds of you saying the middle initial? The middle initial that you know this person goes by and you know that she's divorced and you called her Martel's wife and then you say Melody S. Holt. She totally knew what she was doing. She did not call her Melody or Melody Cherie or Melody Cherie Rogers or Melody S. Rogers. She said Melody S. Holt. That was super shady, super done on purpose. If you know her middle initial is S, you knew well enough to not say Holt at all. You could have just said Melody. You could have just said Melody Cherie or even the queen of love and marriage, Chuntsville herself. Why would you first say Martel and then say, oh, I mean his wife? 
she was totally being disrespectful on purpose. I don't know what her deal is. I really think it's her pledging her loyalty to Carlos. I don't know why she feels like she has to do that. And it is so disappointing because she interviewed Melody. She's interviewed her like three times. And I believe two of them were in 2020 alone. Between 2020 and 2021, she's interviewed Melody three times. Talked about how smart she was in graduating from college and being a teacher and then going into property preservation, all that. So why flip? And then you're boasting about how you took the time out to teach Sweet Tea about investing. And you know, you act like you're all about this women being empowered financially. Why be disrespectful to her? I don't get it. What has she done? I don't like the negative energy when you know you haven't done um, any disrespect or harm towards anyone. You have not been mean to them. You know you do not deserve that negative energy. I, I don't like that. You can be friends with Carlos and not disrespect Melody. She's not disrespecting you. So I don't, I don't like that at all. Now, she, of course, you know, spent a lot of time disrespecting Sweet Tea. You all heard them. And um, she also disrespected Mariah. Mariah Huck, who married to medicine, was her brainchild, her creative genius. She pitched the show to a variety of networks. If you saw Mariah's interview with Carlos King, then you heard her journey, just really pounding the pavement to get married to medicine on air. And Dr. Heavenly is going to shade her. Here it is. Millions on Peacock, right? That's where our ratings come from, the plus three, the plus five, plus seven. But on that night, if we only got 600 and some thousand views, 200 came from us. 200 came from oh, us. absolutely. And I can't see anybody in the world being mad about that other than daddy because the man had texted him about some shit I had said. But that's okay. Um, they can't be mad at this. No. I'm talking about the cast. And I want to thank everybody for watching Married to Medicine. This has been 10 blissful years. I came in season two, but I was at the fight season one that put us on the map. Thank you, Mariah, for everything you've done. You fought for us. You physically fought for us. You got this whole idea out there. And you thank you. And you never did come with no receipts, but that's okay. I'm not mad. And whenever you get ready for them, just drop them. I mean, we know you pay Jasmine Brand, so just drop them over there. Just sprinkle them. We don't know it's you. And we're going to get, you know what I'm saying? We're going to look at it. I'm going to say, I don't believe this shit because AI is a brother tucker. I'm not going to believe it. And then I'm going to keep doing what Alicia don't do for her man. That's what's going to happen. Okay. But I want to thank Matt and Nate. Great producers. They're I Okay, so she shaded Mariah a few times, okay? She talked about Mariah physically fighting Toya season one of Married to Medicine. You've heard me say on other videos, Dr. Heavenly, she's been part of the cast for nine consecutive seasons. But season one, if you go back, if you have a Peacock subscription, you watch Married to Medicine season one, they're at Carrie's house. And um, you can see Dr. Heavenly and Damon, they're there as part of the guests. You know, and they were right there at that pool area. They saw the fight. But she said, oh, Mariah, you physically fought for us. And, you know, Carlos was trying to hold his laughter because, you know, he's cool with Mariah as well. And then she accused Mariah of paying the Jasmine brand, I guess, for showing clips of her and Dr. Buffy. And you know what? I totally disagree with that, Dr. Heavenly. The reason why I say that is because Mariah is not even on any reality TV show. And she has a YouTube channel. Um, I remember watching her lives when she was on Married to Medicine. Mariah used to go live after the episode. And when I tell you it was some funny-ish, because it would be Mariah, her mom, and her sister, Lake. Her sister Lake is um, prom and, and pro proper and reserved, but her mother, she would go in on two people, Dr. Heavenly and Dr. Jackie. And so anyway, I say all that to say she doesn't do any of that anymore. So I don't know what would be the benefit of her paying a blog to post stories of her. You know, it just so happens in the recent weeks 
we've seen her be interviewed by Carlos King and she was interviewed. I want to say it was the all about the tea blog. We saw that interview on Instagram. That's just in recent weeks. So I don't know why she would pay a blogger for them to feature her. You know, I think Dr. Heavenly was just putting that out there about her to make her look bad. And also during this live tonight, we learned that Dr. Heavenly tried to get Carlos King to ask Mariah to present to him the alleged receipts that Dr. Damon has cheated on Dr. Heavenly. And Carlos did not have the balls to ask for that specifically. He actually went back and asked Mariah, would you be willing to do a sit down with Dr. Heavenly? And Dr. Heavenly said, that's not what I asked you to do. So who would do that unless you suspect that your man did something? You know what I mean? Like if you're convinced that he hasn't cheated on you, you would not ask for something that you don't believe exists. So I thought that was very, very telling. But I don't know what it is. I, I'm convinced that Dr. Heavenly is trying to plead her allegiance to Carlos by disrespecting Melody. And then a part of me also thinks that she is just feeling herself. She is on a successful reality TV. They just wrapped up their 10 seasons. And, you know, she mentioned tonight that she's in Andy Cohen's book. You know, he said that he's just tickled by her. And I think she's like feeling herself to where she's being mean to people who haven't done anything to her. But I thank you all so much for watching this video. Please hit the like button on this video. It is a free way of supporting the channel. And if you have not already done so, please subscribe to Show Style and Spirit. I do believe I will be working on another video late tonight before I go to bed. So I'm going to listen to a little bit of Chris Brown for a few minutes before I get to working on my next video. So I will talk with you all soon. Bye.